feel like the defense has picked it up a little bit the last two days since you guys were able to put on the shoulder pads and yeah definitely um you know it's always tough to come out with all these new cats and uh you know learn the plays teach them um we're getting a lot of reps to the young guys you know give them the experience especially but definitely these last few days we've uh, picked up the pace and we've been doing, we've been looking pretty well out there how much farther along do you feel individually, having had an opportunity to play a little bit last year? You probably didn't expect to play as much as, as you wound up playing. Do you feel like it kind of ushered you along a little bit better? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, experience is everything. Coming back with, you know, some time out, actually out on the field last year is big. Uh, almost everything kind of slows down in a way. Um, makes it a lot easier to uh, read plays and especially having so going on my third year, having three years under my belt at this position, I uh, pick up, definitely pick up things from like Peyton Pelor, who's been here for a while. Um, uh, but you know, definitely, uh, it's a it's a lot easier this year. Was was the USC game last year any kind of turning point for you? Uh, maybe just headwise, and just in terms of confidence. Um, the, the, the big play in the yeah. USC game. Well, yeah, that was a, at the end, Jihad, of course, that was a great play. But I knew, you know, last year when all those seniors got hurt, um, just talking to Coach Wilson, he's a great coach. He just pretty much told us, like, it's a next person up mentality. You got you to gotta come in and you got to be ready to play. And he'll play you if you're ready. You know, if you're not ready, he won't. But definitely seeing that from, you know, redshirt freshman last year, Jihad, you know, it just shows that that young kids can play. And you've been a guy who's always had the philosophy of, of move 100 miles an hour all the time. Oh yeah, you know, you go as fast as you can. I mean, you can't play slow, especially in the Pac-12, because you'll get either get hurt or you just won't be able to keep up. How does it seem like the, the linebacker rotation is kind of playing out right now? It seems like a, a few of you guys are, are getting reps with the ones and they're, they're kind of mixing you, you and Jihad in with, in with the starters. Do you get a sense of what the depth chart would look like right now if the, the season started tomorrow? No, I have no idea. You know, like I said earlier, they're moving a lot of the young kids in, um, getting them the experience. Um, we have a lot of good linebackers, so it's really tough to say. Uh, so I, don't know, I couldn't really tell you, no. What, what changes for the linebackers under under Coach Clay? What, what are you guys specifically doing different than you were you were doing last year? We're able to use our speed a lot more this year. That's what I think. That's the main thing. Just with different schemes you guys are using, or yeah, just the different doing? schemes. You know, where Grinch is a uh, great coach. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Clay's gives us more more freedom in the middle to um, to use our speed and try to get those turnovers that we want. Coach Brock seems really vocal with you guys, and Clay seems more, uh, I guess, quiet and conservative as far as vocalizing, you know, yelling at you guys. Yeah. Uh, as a player, do you prefer someone who's more vocal with you or kind of more laid back like Clay? Yeah. No, you know, I've I played a lot of sports over the years. You know, you gotta you gotta adapt to different coaches. You know, Coach Grinch, he was a yeller. Clay's is not as much. Um, but he, you know, he gets fired up, and when he gets fired up, you know that you gotta turn it up. You gotta, you gotta step up. And Coach Brock, you know, he's just, he's passionate for the game. You know, he wants us to do as best as we can, so. All right, we'll get Coach in here. Thanks, Thank you.